Today's video is such a fun one. I thought I'd bring you along as I decorate my tree and give you guys some ideas on how to add ribbon to your tree and how to add ornaments to your tree. There's a few different ways that I thought are really just fun and unique and look really good. And a big thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. I can't wait to share with you what Jason and I have been doing. So we'll get to that in just a little bit. All right, let's get in to decorating this tree. Before I just go diving into throwing ribbons and ornaments on my tree, I'm actually gonna decorate the top first really quick and then that way it's out of the way and once this is all decorated, I'm not trying to reach over it to do the top. So one of the things I add at the top of mine, it reminds me of like the North Star. And basically you hang it on a wall. I'm making enough noise here. But I use this as my quote unquote tree topper. I actually put it like right like that and then we'll put stuff coming, you know, up and out of the top of the tree and it's just a really great representation of what Christmas is all about and I just think it's unique and really pretty. I feel like this is a really awkward filming angle. Whoa, ladder. So I have a zip tie on the back. Zip ties are your friend and I'm gonna place this over the top of my tree. Oh, I love it, I love it. Oh my goodness, have I mentioned how much I do not like doing this part? <laughs> There's a lot happening up there, but once we fill in all the rest of the tree, this will look appropriately sized. All right, now that we have the top looking like a cabana girl, I don't know why it makes me think of that, like Coco. Coco Cabana. Like one of those girls with like a big old thing on her head from like Vegas. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna move down here. And before we start adding the ribbon and the ornaments, I got one more thing that we have to add in first and it's kind of the star of the show. I got sucked into an Etsy ad that I kept getting on Pinterest. And you know what? Not even mad about it. Cutest little sign that says joy to the world and I, I was like, I have to have this. Now I knew I could DIY this, but I honestly didn't have time. And how cute is this gonna be coming down my tree? And the reason I wanna put these on first, but you should see my dog right now. She's running around with her ball and she's got like stuff hanging off of her chin, like fuzz from the like green tennis ball. And she's trying to get me to play with her. Oh, I'm gonna pause, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back from playing with the dog. <laughs> So the sign has a little hook on it and I'm just gonna put a little pipe cleaner through there. And then that way I can put it in my tree and hook it on and it's gonna be joy to the world. I space these evenly. They're about a foot apart, about 12 inches apart. I love this. Okay, now let's fill this tree in. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a variety of different ways that you can add ribbon to your tree. So save this video. You're definitely gonna to wanna to replay this when you're ready to do your tree because here's some really, really cute ideas. I have this two and a half inch ribbon. Now keep in mind, just ignore the ribbon color if that's obviously not gonna be what goes with your tree, but this is what matches my tree. And so uh, I got this really pretty gold and it is wired. And then, so this is two and a half inches, and this is really pretty velvet. There is a fly flying around. Sir, it is time for flies to be gone. Get out of here. Pretty one inch velvet. You're going to cut these in equal lengths of 18 inches. So let me do that really quick. So I have my equal lengths of my two ribbons, which this is beautiful for my tree. I love this. So you're gonna put this into your tree and use the stem, just one end of it, to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna cut the end to make it look better. So just take your end, fold it in half, and cut at an angle. Now you have a pretty end. See how pretty that is? Can you see that? Now you have a pretty end. Both of them are identical. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to pinch this back into here and leave this pretty end out. Okay, so right here where you've pinched and put it in and you have your cute little 
tail hanging down here, which I think looks so pretty, you can put a pick to just kind of block where you've put that in and just kind of, you can do it like this. Wait a minute, hold on. Hey, stay. And kind of block where you've put that in. Ooh, that looks pretty. All right, so that's one way. I love that. It just, it looks really classy, kind of glamorous really dresses up your tree. I wanted to share with you guys today something that Jason and I have started doing recently, and boy, are we so happy that we have. You guys know, with Jason's condition of having early onset dementia, we are constantly looking for ways to streamline our life, to make it easy and convenient. So we've started using Thrive Market. So Thrive Market is a membership-based online grocery store. One of the top reasons that I wanted to do it is I wanted to replace the snack items that Jason has been sitting around snacking on with some better organic products that will hopefully just kind of change his lifestyle and the way that he's snacking. But here's the deal, where I live, the healthier option grocery stores are very far away. It takes me 40, 45 minutes to get over there. I do not have time to go over there, browse the store, figure out, but I do have time to get online. That's one of my very favorite things on Thrive Market is to get online and just look at all the new products, products that I've never seen before. It's so easy to see them online. And something that was really impressive to me was the savings. I have this myth in my head that good for you <laughs> food is super expensive, but it doesn't have to be because with Thrive Market, the savings has been substantial. I wanna show you guys a few of the goodies that we have received that I was super happy about. So just different items that I am never able to just find in my local store. I love the Boom Chicka Pop popcorn, but oh, dark chocolate kettle corn, like stop it. I was super excited. This was one of my favorite picks. So, okay, keep in mind, I did say that this was for Jason, but uh, you know, I got a few of my own snacks in here also. One of the really cool things about Thrive Market is if you find this at a better price somewhere else, they will match it for you. So the price that you pay in your annual membership fee, you will more than make up for that with the savings. And if you don't, they will refund you the difference. Okay, skinny dipped almonds. Okay, can you guys feel a theme of what I love? Um, dark chocolate skinny dipped almonds. That's amazing. And then something else that Jason loves to sit around and... Um, I'm laughing. I got dark chocolate again, but we all know dark chocolate is like more healthy for you. But I love these kind bars, but they are so expensive at my local grocery store. And so when I looked them up on Thrive Market, I'm like, yes, I have to get those. The dark chocolate nut and sea salt. This is one of Jason's favorite things to snack on now. And so I have added this to our favorites. So it's easy for me to find. That's one of the things you can get on there and you can filter. Like, do you like gluten-free? Do you eat keto? Do you eat paleo? The options are pretty endless, let me tell you. And not only do they have food, they do have, you know, like laundry detergent and cleaning supplies. I did not get that in this order. I was solely focused on Jason and his snacking and trying to change his habits. Another really awesome thing about Thrive Market is all shipping is free over $49 and it's super fast. So be sure to click the link down in the description box or head to thrivemarket.com slash a charming abode so you can join today and get 30% off your entire order and a free gift up to $60. We love it so much and we think that you will also. All right, I did number two for ribbon. I have this really pretty ribbon that's blue with gold that says Merry Christmas. And so let's see, I'm probably gonna cut this about 24 inches long. Believe it or not, I have a little tape measure here and I measure it out. So that way they're all kind of even and everything looks nice and symmetrical and I'm not just guessing and it doesn't just look like a hodgepodge of stuff all over the place. So I do recommend that. So cut this about two feet long whatever ribbon you're using that matches your decor. Here I have my 24 inches of my pretty ribbon. So I wrap it around my fingers and just spin it, spin it, spin it. Keep in mind, this does have the wire in it. Okay. So where you were, had it with there, you ready? You, you're just gonna go. All right, super tight right now. Don't worry. You just let it relax itself. Oh yeah. And there you go. You got your nice little curled ribbon 
that you can put on your tree and it looks so amazing. So I just take the end and I use one of the branches to like hook it on. Oh, it's already cute and I haven't even fluffed it. Look how pretty that is. And you just put these all over your tree coming down. Super simple. I'm gonna show you another way that's even more simple, but ah, look how beautiful that is. So say you don't feel like sitting there and rolling a bunch of those. They have the spiral ribbon available at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure it's available online. If I can find it, I'll put it down below. If not, go to your local Hobby Lobby. Look at that. When you unravel it, it already spirals for you. How cool is that? And what a time saver. Although you don't get to have it in the pretty pattern, like the one that said Merry Christmas. You have to take what they have. And they had this really pretty white. They did have some gold, some different colors. And so let me just determine like, you know, what length that you want it at and then cut it. And then that way, ta-da. So there's another idea for you. Okay, that looks great. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but in real life, it's gorgeous. This next one's adjustable on the size based on how big your tree is. So I cut my ribbon 30 inches long because this is a pretty tall tree and I didn't want my little ribbon thing to be too tiny. So if your tree's smaller, make it a little shorter. If your tree's bigger, make it a little longer. You're just gonna do this into three equal parts where you just like, do it like this, another one, and another one. And then here's the deal. You can either do this two ways. You can go ahead if you want and put some pipe cleaner and hook it together there in the back or just use your tree to hold it together. So let me show you what I mean. So you can just use the tree and just put it back in here. You don't have to hook it together. You can kind of fluff it out however you want. That looks nice. Or if you're really wanting to get like a big, you know, fluff on it, this is what you should do. You can just take some pipe cleaner, hook it together like so. Get your, your, your pieces don't have to be exactly equal. Then you can put it back in here and use the pipe cleaner to hook it onto the tree and hide it. Ooh, that looks so lovely, see? If you guys are finding this video to be helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. They sell this mesh at Hobby Lobby. I believe they sell it other places. I'm gonna show you how just to do the tuck method. So you know how on this ribbon up here that we did earlier where we cut the little end, we just tucked one time. I'm gonna show you how we're not gonna leave it open at the end and how we're going to do tuck, tuck. and. It sounds simple enough, but sometimes if you just don't do it the right way, it just doesn't look quite as nice. So let me show you how to do it. So this piece is very long. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna get an idea of how long I want it before I cut it, and then I'll cut it, and I'll cut them in equal pieces. So I'm gonna tuck it into the tree, and I'm gonna tuck it again, and then I'm gonna tuck it again. So I'll fluff it the correct way here in a minute, but first I'm just getting an idea. So that's about how big I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it about right here. And then we'll use this other piece. So you just take your piece here, you're gonna put it in here and you're gonna use the tree branch to hook it. And then let it flow down. I love how you can make it as poofed out as you want or more gathered together. And then once again, you're just gonna push it back into the tree and let it drape nicely and push it back into the tree and then hook it again with the, up, you know, one of the branches. I know the gold through the camera can be a little bit hard to see, but this draping just looks so natural and beautiful. And so I think between a combination of doing this and the spiral one, that could just really fill in your tree. So obviously I have more ribbon to add to fill in the tree, but I wanna switch right now and give you ideas of how to put ornaments on because I got some really great ways that I wanna share with you. So let's switch gears a little bit. Like I said, we were gonna do and we're gonna move to ornaments. I'm gonna give you a couple different ways to just put your ornaments on that look a little classier, just a little nicer and just a fun way to do it. 
So I have three different ornaments here in the colors that I'm using for my tree. I got the gold, I got the blue, and I got the white. And then I have a pipe cleaner. And so just put the three, ah! oh, good catch. <laughs> put the three on the pipe cleaner. Oh my goodness. You're gonna be noticing behind me, it's getting, getting late outside and I have just been filming away. So I'm getting crazy over here. All right, so you have your three. Oh my goodness. How much glitter will I have on me by the end of the day? So I put the three on there and then you just tighten them. So now you've made yourself like a little, it's almost like triangle, I guess you would call it. And then it's a great space filler. So you can just like put it into the tree. Let me zoom it in so you can see better. My glasses on so I can see better. You can just put it into the tree. And the best part is, is then you can just hook it on. I feel like I'm blocking the view. Blocking the view. That looks lovely. And then I always just make sure that the branches are blocking so you can't see the pipe cleaner. That's nice. So that's one way. All right, I want you, can you see this? I want you to take off the original hook that came with your bulb, or if it didn't come with a bulb, I don't want you to buy these. I don't want you to use these. I want you to get some beautiful velvet ribbon in whatever color scheme you're doing and switch it out. I guarantee it looks so much more classy. Look at this. I love this blue velvet ribbon. There, I love this. So we're gonna switch it out, not gonna use these. And then when you hang it on your tree, it just looks so much better. I do not want it right there because I have those bulbs right there. But I'm just trying to give you an idea. Here, I'll put it down this way and you can see. Now here's where you can decide. Don't forget to put your bulbs back up into the tree. Some of them go back up into the tree, some of them are on the out. I'm just gonna put this one on the outside so you can see what it looks like with the velvet ribbon. But it's so beautiful. Let me give you another idea of how to do an ornament. The bulb comes with one of these. You don't wanna spend the money to do velvet ribbon. I get it. I got a better way for how you should put this on there. So instead of just, you know, hanging it down like that, take this and wrap this around so it's right up underneath of the branch. So you're gonna take it and wrap it around. And don't hang it. And then that way, it looks like your bulb is coming right out of your branch. And it looks so much better hanging like that instead of hanging down off of that wire. So I'm gonna take all those methods of between the ribbon and the ornaments and I'm going to fill in my tree with it. And then another thing that I also love to use on my tree are picks. So I love to put picks in. I like to use all different kinds. They are great space fillers. So if you have space that you just don't know what needs to go there, you throw a pick in and boom, it just covers the space and then you don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna go around and use all the methods that I just taught you guys and get my tree all done. And I love the glow. I just love the glow of the tree. And the little twinkling, oh, so pretty. A big thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to head to the link down in the description box or head to thrivemarket.com slash a charming abode where you can get 30% off your entire first order plus up to a $60 free gift. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.